New York and on the new Hot 97 app, Ebro in the Morning. On Hot 97. So one of my favorite parts of the game last night, even though I didn't watch it, was to, to watch the trolling that was happening. So the Milwaukee Bucks, uh, the owner's daughter, wore a Pusha T t-shirt. Uh, sitting courtside. Wow. That's too wow. far. That's too far. That's just. That's not even. That's not even cool, man. You guys saw. You guys didn't see it. No, nah, I didn't watch yes. the game. I watched the game and didn't see it. I didn't get she to see the game. She wore a Pusha T T-shirt. Wow, she went in. <laughs> oh, she was sitting right next to Aaron Rodgers. I, yo, I saw Aaron Rodgers. I didn't realize that. I didn't Why realize that did? was the owner. The owner's daughter, and I didn't realize she had a Pusha T T-shirt on. <laughs> but that's I did see funny. Drake. And guess what? She gets the um. Congratulations, yeah. you played yourself. Because the Bucks lost. The Raptors got a, a win on the road. Oh That's God. a big deal in the playoffs. Drake is so petty. He just—I think this is a picture of her. He put on his IG as <laughs> his main like icon pic. He sure did. It's a picture of her, and then later he took a screenshot of her and he wrote all. All is fair in war and war. And trust me, I'll still get you tickets to OVO Fest with a little Whoa. face with little hearts on it. Now we go to Drake. After the win, <laughs> listen. We have the best player. We have the best fans in the whole in the whole NBA in the whole world. Look around. Look around you. Look at this. We <laughs> created this. This didn't exist before we were here. Look around at the square. I promise you, right now, we did this. Doesn't matter what anybody says. They can say it's disrespectful. They can say it's this and that. And that. Everybody's within. Everybody's within the rules. Everybody's doing their thing. All we are is proud and passionate. We are like a college sports team. The Toronto Raptors are a college sports team. I promise you. I love Toronto. I, I love this team. So and we're going to the NBA. Yeah. He was high. He's so high. <laughs> Yo, know, he sounded like a, he sounded 16 years old, didn't Yo, he? Oh, it's great. He did. Like I, I promise kid. you. I promise you. We're like a college sports team. I promise you. <laughs> Yo, shout to Drake Shout to the whole Toronto Y'all deserve to be hyped for sure Fact. Dionne Warwick had an interview with Essence Yo, right? Man, and they look. asked her about Beyonce look. Her thoughts No. And she said that she is a fan of Beyonce But doesn't think uh, she's reached icon status just yet what? You know She was like Now sustaining and becoming an icon Like Gladys Knight or Patti LaBelle Frank Sinatra, Sammy Davis Jr She's like I doubt that I really do She's like I love her to death and can appreciate her talent But that iconic status That I just mentioned before Those names, it's a long road ahead So she's just saying her time in the game Is not there yet And that's fair yeah. That's fair. And then she, because Dion Warwick is an OG. So when your OGs are like, you know what? You've been rocking. But talk to me when you've been doing this for 50 years. Look, I do that to people because there's cats in the game in this radio thing. They've been doing it for a nice 10. Yeah, I'm like, let me know when you get to 30. So as the story went viral, she went on Twitter to clarify her comments. And she said again, she said, it takes a long time to reach and achieve iconic status. That's not to say that Beyonce isn't well on her way. She's a gifted performer. But so, she says that was a reach from Essence. Listen, I'm mm. I'm Navy all day, but sometimes you got to give it up. B. Yeah. I mean, I guess this perspective. Is, like she's saying. just saying it's, it from her perspective. Yeah, Look, but, man, but, people but do throw can't? around. People, we, we, people throw around legend and yeah. icon. Yeah. And for us, we say Beyonce's icon. But why can't for Gladys? She's saying, "Look, I've been around. B, yeah, I done seen other icons. That's not Gladys, when Beyonce though. lasts the test of time, that's when she's an icon to Gladys, and that's fair. I guess that's I mean, fair. But sometimes you just gotta be like, why does it have to be a time thing? Sometimes it's just because like, it is a time thing. Because uh, Beyonce standing the test, standing the test of time is important. But she kind of has. Well, she she kind of she can, she can like sit down right now. She has not in Dion Warwick is seventy five, bro. Right in her eyes, of course, Beyonce hasn't yeah, reached but, it. She a young buck. Yeah, but, but I mean, how long was she outside of her eyes? How long was Dion Warwick active? She just did an <laughs> interview in Essence, bro. She's still yeah, active. That, that's, a, that's an interview. And we're talking about her. Yeah, but we're talking about her because she her, talk, and clearly her cause opinion matters because she was talking about Beyonce. Yeah, I'm not. By the way, I'm you think not Essence went and sat down with her because of Beyonce? No, but they Essence asked, went and sat down with her but because she's Dion Warwick. But they asked the question. Yeah, they sure did to get some perspective, so, and the OG mm, has spoken. So how long does it take? Yeah, is Madonna an icon? Yes, Cher an icon? Yes, yes. yes. So Beyonce got like what ten more years? Because I mean, how old is Madonna? I think like I started by saying it's perspective, her perspective. We have crowned Beyonce icon. We have. 
But we ain't been around as long as Stevie Wonder and Dionne Warwick I mean, and all them. That's yeah. a fact. So their their perspective is a little different. That's I mean, I'm, I'm not Beehive. <laughs> you just be talking, man. Why is Cash yeah, one talking? Shut up. It's, a, it's a good question. It's a good argument to have. Yeah, because you like to argue. No, no, not at all. Yes, he does, you liar. <laughs> Get out of here.